The images from this week were disturbing and not just for us. They may have impacted our kids as well. So how do you answer your child's questions about what you were watching and getting upset about? And this morning, John Shumway is here with how younger children may have been impacted by this. Yeah, and Heather, one of the first and foremost things is don't assume that the kids are not noticing what's going on around us and on the tube. Child trauma is the specialty of psychologist Dr. Tony Manorino from Allegheny Health Network, and he says our kids do pick up on our moods and. The parents are so upset, so angry, uh, so distressed that kids are worried that mom or dad are kind of out of control a little bit. That's the kind of situation that can be really scary for kids. He says that doesn't mean that you can't show emotions. I think it, it models for children that we as parents uh, don't agree with violence. We don't accept violence in our society, and we don't want to do that encouraged for our young children. What about when the kids have questions about what they're seeing? Yeah, and I think the questions need to be answered in, in a way that's consistent with their age. With young kids, you know, say 10 or 11 and under, uh, I think kids need to have some basic information. And I think we also want to provide, particularly with the really young kids, four, five, six, seven years age, reassurance. There are some believe that we should just keep the kids away from TV, shouldn't let them see this at all. What do you think? And that is one of the things that uh, parents of younger children can do. And that is turn the TV off, uh, so that children aren't sort of constantly watching the same stuff over and over again, which would really increase the probability that they could experience some anxiety associated with it. But that depends on your child, and no one is better equipped, Heather, than the parent to know if all of this is upsetting to your child or not. Watch for mood changes and things like that. You know, one of the biggest things I think we can do is just to be reassuring. So does he have a suggestion about how to do that? You know, the bottom line with kids is they want to feel safe. Mm -hmm. So especially with the younger kids, just be reassuring. Mom and dad are here. We're protecting you. We're taking care of you. A little bit older, you need to give them a little information. But ultimately, just reassure them that everything's going to be okay. And the problems they're seeing coming through the screen are not happening right outside their door. All right, John, thank you.